Whenever a host needs to contact another host, either in its own subnet or in another subnet, or maybe in the internet, then it sends an ARP request. It actually asks who has the IP address that I need to contact. The request is being sent in the broadcast domain or sometimes it is being relayed to another subnet and the host that has the IP address sends back its MAC address. Its MAC address is crucial in crafting the packet itself. It is one of the most important functions in IP routing. Now your 48 has an ARP table which holds the binding between the different MAC addresses and the IP addresses on different interfaces. So let's take a look at the ARP table. All right, so let's start by examining ARP requests that are being sent from the LAN subnet, that is in port two. To do so, we'll use the Dyke sniffer packet which is uh, 48's Wireshark way to capture the packets that travel between the different interfaces and actually examine what is happening. Now we know that we wish to examine port 2 packets. We can also use filters. We can use uh, uh, filters to capture TCP traffic, to capture specific ARP traffic but we will not use filter we'll only use verbosity 4 so let's press enter and we can see the different arp request who has that ip address that ip address by the way is the gateway address so let's abort that and the very first arp command that you can use is the get system arp let's press enter here you can see IP addresses, MAC addresses, and associated interfaces. The second command is the ARP table cache, that is using the diag IP ARP list. And we can see the ARP cache, we can see the different states, and we can also see references. The third command is to uh, set the ARP table maximum entry size now here we will use the config system global and we will use the set up maximum entry where we can actually enter an integer with the number of entries now there are times where you wish to delete the whole arp table to do so we will use the execute clear system ARP table. Now we are now actually clearing the full ARP table so let's just look at the system ARP table and yep we only have one ARP table which its age in minutes is actually zero so it was just received now. And the last command that we will look at is the config system ARP table now here we can actually add up specific IP addresses and bind a specific MAC address according to our needs. So let's just edit one and let's uh, set the interface to port two and we can set the IP to any IP on that subnet. And we can also set the MAC address and associate them together. All right, so there are other commands that um, you can use, but I believe that the ones that I showed you are the most important one. The ARP command is one of the uh, well-known diagnostic commands that allows you to see the mapping between IP addresses on your network and the MAC addresses. So be sure to use it and examine your network, not only in terms of uh, security policies that are uh, deployed and so on, but also on the networking side.